everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video I have three cactus packages to unbox. This first box that you see here contains one cactus plant and then two days later I had two more packages arrive. This will be the first unboxing that you see here and the unboxing of the other two parcels will just carry on straight after. So here's the package and it feels very, very light. So I can feel the soil all here. Oh wow, look at that. That is beautiful. I can see all the little spines on the stems. Okay, so look at this everybody. It might not look like an average cactus that you're used to seeing, but this definitely is a cactus plant. This is a Pareschia Diaz Romeruana. And according to the pictures, it has very vivid fuchsia pink flowers. So here's a look at the leaves and you can see along these stems there are some spines. So this stem is a good example. If you look very closely you can see it's got woolly fluff and some spines protruding out there. So you know this is definitely a cactus. They come out at the base of the leaves on the stem and it's surrounded by the woolly fluff, typical of the areoles on cactus plants. So this is the underside of each leaf that you're looking at. If you look here at this leaf here, it's got a white patch in it. I don't know whether that's variegation in that leaf. That's quite interesting. It's the only leaf on here that's like it. And this is the same leaf but it doesn't seem to be white on the top. It just has a slight difference in the shade of the green there. So the leaves themselves are quite actually fleshy almost like the, the feel of the texture of a jade plant. They feel like that, quite rubbery feeling. And the fresh new growth here that you see on the stem tip starts off quite bright green and quite thin. This is quite a thick part of the stem here and you can see these little nubs here where stems or leaves will come out from. I'm guessing perhaps they've broken off over time and they could sprout out new growth. So I'm going to be looking forward to growing this and I hope one day it does flower for me. So I've brought the Pareschia onto my grow rack and I've just popped it into a seed tray here, still with the bag attached for now. And you can probably see I've given it a mist spray of water just to give it back a little bit of hydration because it was hot and dehydrated from the being in the post. So look how beautifully the water sits on the leaves. Little beads of water, they look like little gemstones. As I said before, the leaves have a, a rubbery waxy feel to them and the water just nestles on there. Very pretty. Even the spine has a little droplet of water on there. So 
So here we are now. This is two days later. These two packages arrived. The little box on the top contains two cactus plants and the box below contains one cactus plant and also is a Paraschia, but a different type. So when I'm unboxing this one, I'm comparing this cactus to the one that you've just seen. Okay, so let's get unboxing. This one is Paraschia aculeata. Wow, look at that. This one's got very different leaves to the other Paraschia I've ordered. So this is Paraschia aculeata, and these have got much different leaves to the other Paraschia, and different spines as well. Not so obvious on this one, but they do have spines. You can see the leaves are a lot longer and slimmer. So here you can see the spines, a lot shorter and stubbier. Here's another spine here, this one looks to be an older spine. Another one protruding out there, just at the base of the leaf. So as we look down towards the base of the soil level, you can see the stem of the plant is looking a lot woodier now. And the spines are quite sharp looking. So they look to be quite sort of a milky white colour when they're new and quite flexible. Then they become quite rigid. So this is the shape of the leaf. This is one of the older leaves. A lot thinner than the Paraschia Diaz Romeruana. This one's more thinner. So this one has creamy white, slightly larger flowers than the other one I've got. And these ones develop edible fruits and they're round and an orangey yellowish colour. Okay, so let's go on to the next package. This one contains two cactus plants. They are both stenocactus, and one of them is Stenocactus albatus v. longispinus, and the other one is Stenocactus multicostatus sb439. Uh-oh, it's got all this stuff in there. I'll just get rid of all of this. So these are the two cactus plants that I will be repotting at the end of the video using my Douglas fir bark mix. This is a good sign. It's got all the soil removed and a plant label here. Stenocactus albatus v. longispinus absolutely beautiful. It's got the blonde coloured spines. So the central spines are the blonde ones and the radial spines are the white ones. 
so I can repot this straight away into my own cactus potting mix. And then I'm not going to give any water because it's late in the season now, so I'll just let them sit and go into their dormant stage. So this cactus is five centimetres in diameter and three centimetres high, not including the spines. Okay, so this next one is Stenocactus multicostatus, SB439. This one is four centimetres diameter by three centimetres high, not including spines. I really like this one because of how dense the spines are. It almost has a fluffy look. And you can see on this one, looking at the areoles, the three central spines are like a dark browny colour. And the radial spines are quite dense and there's quite a lot of them. And they're like a white. The apex of the cactus is very fluffy, woolly, with dense clustering of spines there. So because they're bare root and they look healthy and really well looked after, I'm going to pot them up straight away now in this video into my cactus potting mix, which at the moment contains Douglas fir bark as the main component. So we'll start with this stenocactus. I'm going to use a three inch pot or 7.5 centimetre diameter. So we'll just line the pot. So I'll put cinnamon on the roots of this one, I've lined the pot. Okay, so here they are. So they'll be ready for their winter dormancy now. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.